What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Neg Entropy Chronicles. Now, we're talking about a female cop after 28 years loses her job due to having an OnlyFans account. <laughs> if you think I'm joking, let me show you the article, all right? Who still operates her OnlyFans page. For those of you unfamiliar, it's a popular website where people can post photos and videos for their money paying subscribers. And the content is often sexual in nature. So again, we want to warn viewers in case they find this content objectionable. I was a really good cop and I was a really good leader. Melissa Williams spent 28 years in law enforcement, the last 11 as a lieutenant at the Arapahoe County Jail. But away from work, she could be found on her OnlyFans page, known as Lexi, your secret dirty neighbor. Now, you might see some weird gaps in this just so I can abide by the YouTube algorithm and not get in trouble for certain photos that may pop up on here. So if you notice it's a weird jump gap, then this is why, because I don't want it to be blocked because I want to get to the point of this actual video. With the caption, see all of me, which includes pictures of her in sexy poses, wearing little and sometimes nothing. We're only showing the tamest photos. Do subscribers ask you to do engage in sex acts? They can ask for that, sure. And is that something you participate in? Not based on their request, just based on interests that my husband and I have. Melissa had 300 subscribers paying $10 a month where she would tease them with lines like, do you think my coworkers think I'm innocent or naughty? At the time you did it, did you ever think, mm, I wonder if the Sheriff's Department would find it embarrassing if they found out that I had one? No, I never did because I was doing it off duty and it was never anything criminal. It would take 18 months, but coworkers did find out. And so did a female police officer from a neighboring department who filed a complaint with the Arapo County Sheriff's Office stating she felt like Lieutenant Williams' poor judgment was a discredit to the Arapo County Sheriff's Office. So I was like, this doesn't even affect the person that reported it. It doesn't affect my work. It doesn't affect my employees. It doesn't affect the community. But the sheriff's office took it seriously. In a memo obtained by the problem solvers, an internal affairs inspector wrote, the website contained pictures of Lieutenant Williams posing for pictures, clearly showing her face and her genitals. One or more of the photos appear to have been taken in a very public location. I think some people view what I did for fun as being a sex worker, but I'm the same as someone else's neighbor, their friend, mom, daughter, I'm still the same person I was for the 18 months the page existed and nobody knew. Well, there's a lot of things that are legal that people disapprove of. Don Mayer is a professor of business ethics and legal studies at the University of Denver. He says Colorado has a measure, the lawful off-duty activity statute, that protects employees from being fired for what they do in their personal time, as long as they're not breaking any laws. I don't think there's a really strong argument that what she did was unlawful. But that leads you to believe they could not have fired her for having this only fans page. I think that's correct. But the sheriff says Melissa Williams should have sought permission for secondary employment, just like any deputy who moonlights mm. as security at a bar or at a football game is required to do. Oh. Did you ever think about uh, applying for secondary employment from the sheriff's department? No, because it was never started to make money. It just happened to make money. Williams oh does not want to say how much money her OnlyFans page has made, but rather than face an internal affairs investigation, she agreed to a $30,000 separation and release agreement to retire from the department. The IA investigation was never completed because you guys reached a deal. Do you think that they were going to terminate you no matter what if they completed that IA investigation? In my opinion, yes. Do you think that would have been fair? No, absolutely not. I did not leave out of shame, and I did not leave out of embarrassment for the OnlyFans page. I left because it was the right thing for myself and my family. Melissa Williams doesn't know what she's going to do next, but says it will not be in law enforcement. Arapahoe County Sheriff Tyler Brown declined an interview request. His spokesman told us having an OnlyFans page does not necessarily violate the department's secondary employment policy, but does say Williams should have sought permission. Rob Lowe. Okay. This is my thoughts on it. Yeah, you have a right to do OnlyFans if you want to. But we're talking about 28 years you put in the game. 
all to let it slip because the OnlyFans, like, come on now, let's keep it all the way funky. There's no way you're going to tell me that when you started that OnlyFans, you had no idea that you were going to get paid from it. Like, that's nonsense because you're the one that sets up the page with the amount that they can subscribe to and for how much. Like, what are we, <laughs> like, it wasn't meant to make money. Then what, why'd you do it on OnlyFans then? Stop the cap. Come on, man. Like, I wish people would be more realistic, but <laughs> she did get ratted out, though. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. She got ratted out by another police officer, but you know, I'm. It, it's it's amazing how OnlyFans can make you lose jobs, and people still want to do it. Whatever, regardless of their age, it doesn't matter. A lot of people do not respond to OnlyFans in a good manner. So when you make a decision to do OnlyFans, that can end a lot of people's careers. So you have to be mindful of that decision, and also, let's be honest. This is not the first time, not with OnlyFans, but certain decisions that you make in regards to being a police officer, things in your history will come up. That's why they say, be careful what you post online. Be careful what you do online. Be careful what pictures you take, because once it hits the internet, it's forever. There was a police officer. She been at the force. Uh, I think she just got into the force. But seven years before that, she was in a rap video. And in that rap video, he was throwing up gang signs. And if you were a police officer, you cannot be affiliated with any gangs. So when they saw that, even though she probably distanced, her, distanced herself from all of that, still because she was in that video, psh, killed any of her chances of keeping that position. Crazy, right? But that's why you got to be mindful of the decisions that you make. But let me know what you think down in the comments section. Be on the lookout for more videos. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace.